In 1816, Mary Shelley and Lord Byron challenged each other to see who could write the scariest story. Of course, Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, and the rest is history. In that same spirit, my friend Gerald and I challenged each other to see who could make the scariest comic. But we only had like four hours, so here's what we did. We each ran through a first draft without stopping to consider whether or not we should put something on a page. It was a rapid prototype phase. And after that, I went back and developed the ideas that I thought were good, and I'm really happy with how the story turned out. And you can go ahead and read it. So check it out and let me know what you think of that. Honestly, I've had writer's block all year, so it felt great to just get some shit on paper. You know, there's a story that gets thrown around. I don't know if it's true, but supposedly there was a ceramics teacher who divided his class into two groups. One would be graded on quality, and the other would be graded on quantity. So naturally, half of the class sat around thinking about what the best ceramic would be, while the other half just banged out a lot of stuff without thinking about it. In the end, the group that was graded on quantity happened to have the better work because they didn't let themselves get hung up on whether or not they should create something. They just did it and learned from it. I gotta do more of that. I think Gerald came to the same conclusion. I think it was just getting started. and It seems to be the hardest part. Another thing that probably held me back was a lot of the rendering. You know, I need to do more dialogue where the background doesn't really, really matter. I've got over a dozen pages to finish. I don't know, we'll see if I can pull it off. Thank you for watching and thank you for reading. I've got a bunch of new stuff coming out and it's weird. I'm excited to share it, and I wish you the best in whatever creative endeavors you got going on. Alright, I'll see you soon.